Walls is 25 points. He had 20 in the first round. Magic Johnson, you're watching. You said Craig Hodges. And so Craig Hodges is about to shoot some now. You had a good feeling about him. He wants to honest with themselves. Well, Doug is on the line here with Craig Hodges. Oh, and I tell you, he loves that corner right there. He's going to make four out of five. <laughs> maybe you, five. You, you and he had something going here. He come loves on, maybe that corner. Five for five. He loves yes, it. come on. Craig, make me look good here. Huh? That's right. Well, my guy Danny Ainge is already on the hardwood. Well, there's seven in a row for Hodges. I about the think he's back. There's eight. Full or what? There's nine. Craig looks to now another final. Put on the show, Craig. The chance is waiting for this. Twelve in a row. Thirteen. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh, he hasn't missed yet. A total of 30 points is possible. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. is the record for a round. Looks like Hodges may break that. He needs one more. Oh, unbelievable. That was tremendous shooting. He holds the record at 25, and now he gets 24 in this preliminary. That means that he will advance to the finals along with Terry Porter. So, now, maybe you like Porter. Well, remember now. said Craig Hodges. Four consecutive shots. The record was Larry Bird with 11. Now, at least 19 he shots in a row is the best performance in the history of this long distance shootout. Well, yeah, thanks a lot. Five racks, five balls on a rack. We're underway. Craig Hodges loves his corner shot. Usually he really gets off to a good start. Now Jordan missed his first two and now he's warmed up and I think, you know, it's just the fact that this is new competition for him. Craig Hodges hitting three corners including the two-point ball. Craig Hodges on a roll now, hitting four in a row. Craig five in a row from the spot. Craig performed here earlier today for some school kids and was on fire at that time. It seems to still be on it right now. 28 seconds remaining. Well, Jordan has really struggled in his first two racks, and he's going to have to really bury the next two in order to get into it. He has missed and missed almost every one and hasn't gotten a red, white, or blue ball down. It's 15 to 4, Craig Hodges early on. Well, Craig is filling it up right now. I mean, if he stays in this kind of rhythm, he is going to be awfully tough to beat. He loves his, those corners again. He has five seconds to get three more shots up. He has not made one now from this left side. Well, Jordan struggled the entire rack. He only ended up with five going in, and it was a tough first time around for Michael Jordan. You see the look on his face, and remember I told you, experience in this competition is really a key. And Craig Hodges takes a great deal of pride in this competition. He was a finalist last year. He has 20 points. Jordan has five points. Well, Craig, Craig Hodges was sensational. The, the two spots that he started off with, Steve, he had eight of his first ten shots. And a late flurry for him now sets the stage for the guy who won it in 2015 and is he second it all time in three pointers made. He makes it look effortless. We need 30 step. Come on, man. Set this first round on fire, Steph. Oh, he, he, he's warm now. All it takes is one for him to go in. Once one goes in, man. We need 30, Reds. Oh, come on, man. This is ridiculous, man. He's a video game. He missed his yeah. video game. I want to see what he's going to do on the Mountain Dew. Yeah. He's a video game. Look at this. He missed his come first on. two. He doesn't miss oh, him. He's a video game, bro. We need 30. He's a video game. See, this puts the fear in your competitors out here. <laughs> this puts the fear. Okay, say no more, man. He got 22 at the top of the key. Oh, my gosh. Come on. You kidding me? That's what it feel like. Oh, my God. What do you got? 17? Oh, he got 17. 17. It's, but here's his money rack. Right uh, he haven't shot the money rack. Money right rack right it's here. not even fair, man. Uh, he shouldn't play. He got to shoot one left-handed <laughs> and keep, it, keep the feel even, man. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, where's Clay oh. Thompson when you need him? Oh, my God. That would have been an easy 30 round. Oh, my no, God. he's still going to get he's it. He's still going to get it. D-Wade, he's, oh, he's still going to get it. Come on, bro. He's still going to get it, D-Wade. This is ridiculous. It's too easy, man. Jack. It's too easy. Birdie. Come on, man. Jack, that's too easy. Come on, man. It's not fair. 
What did I tell you he told the guys? He walked in and did a Larry Bird. <laughs> Who was shooting for second? You, you Which one of y'all is shooting for second? You wonder if he did. Uh, watch him. I'm going to let y'all know. the table on this rack. The debate is over. It, like, the debate. The debate about, like, who would you want to take your last shot? Oh. You know, they have that debate, you uh, know? I don't know about that. No, he, this a, dude is it. That's a, that, this oh. dude is it, Reg. Wait, he's it or he he's in it? it? He's it. Wait, to take the last shot? The last and shot then, of the game, and you I'm need going a three? with him. And you need a three? I need a, no, I need a bucket. I'm no. shooting the ball. Stop I'm giving him a three. I Stop. mean, you go, you go, no. you go a game like that? costly going up against the defending champion Larry right. Bird you know how Bird is he feels that when the money's no. down no one is better than himself it, watched him he lined all those balls up to be in the perfect position on that first rack I'm surprised he didn't do it on all of them he has 60 seconds 25 balls he has to meet 15 points a slow start but he warms up as he gets going three points out of the first rack Well, he's all over the place in this rack. Usually he comes back with that big money ball that keeps him close. He's hit both the money balls, both the two-point balls. I think he's over-adjusting. He's come up short, and then he's all of a sudden throws it a little bit long. He certainly doesn't have that normal bird rhythm going for himself. He does not. At 25 seconds remaining, he has only seven. has to be 15. That's eight. Make it nine. And 10. At 11, as we're counting, 13. Rack that time for Bird. He's still got to drop one here quickly. 14. This is a tie for the money. Yo! Larry Bird at the buzzer with the two point ball. 17 to 15 defends the long distance shootout crowd at Chicago Stadium. Well, you have to concentrate a little bit more and take your time. Uh, minutes a long time to get up 25 shots, so I just took my time and uh, uh, was just hoping that someone would start dropping for me. With names like Al Capone and John Dillinger, Chicago's had some memorable shootouts. Maybe not stakes this hot, but nobody cooler under pressure. You really thrive in this. Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, the guys come out, and it's a little bit harder than it looks. No one would have guessed that it would have been Kyrie Irving and, and Matt Barnes. The only reason I, 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 I might have said it because of last year's rookie game. The way he shot the three. He was terrific in that game. You're right. So here is Kyrie Irving from Elizabeth, New Jersey. This dude is trying to make a statement. Man. Make a statement. He's just trying to take over the league. He's man. trying to make a statement. This kid is trying to take over the league. Somewhere, Brandon Knight is upset with this kid. No, let me tell you right now. If he get in the dunk contest, I'm leaving. Oh my God. This, is good. this kid is on fire. So far from two racks, he's got man. seven. Hey. Make that 12. The world is yours, Chico. Yeah, man. The world is yours, oh. Chico. Oh, man. Shoot that man. He only missed one shot so far. Man, that's confidence. This puts so zero much right. pressure on that long. Look, Look at this. Shoot, Look he might at get Craig Archer's record almost. Let it go. Oh. He would have almost got Greg Archer's got 20. There's some cheering from LeBron. He said, man, I should have stayed in prison. It's Kyrie Irving. <laughs> Don't start that. Don't start that. And again, Irving for two oh. points. On the money ball. And, well, that's a wrap. I'm sorry. Yes. That's a wrap. Red, red Mambo, Red Rocket. 23 points. 23 points for Kyrie Irving. I mean, listen. You call this one? Good, good luck. We call this one over. Final score, 23. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Kyrie Irving. Congratulations, brother. How's it feel? Feels great, man. Feels great. Now, I mean, this is an all-star weekend. You take, and they said you were two away from the record. Did you think this was ever going to happen? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, started off pretty hot. Uh, you know, I got tired when it came to the last racket. I mean, rack. You know, I was just trying to make shots out there. Hey, well, congratulations again. I'm going to step to the side.
Five-time All-Star Nowitzki is on deck as you take a look I, at him. I tried to give him a lot of money to go to Auburn, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> I played in the All-Star game. Did they pay at Auburn? That's what I heard. Oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't pay for that jacket he's wearing, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charles. Did I say that? I guess that was for the Altoids comment, huh? <laughs> Touche. Are we even now? We're even. Okay. <laughs> Don't crank up the car outside. Today. Now, here, here's a pure shooter right here. A seven-foot jump shooter. And look how high his arc is. I don't know about that last one. That was a call and air ball. Dirk finished second in the 2000 shootout. Behind Pedro Stoyakovic. That's Another right. Another great shooter. Yep. Dirk is a nightmare matchup for any big man. There's Mark Cuban. You just saw him. He is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and here cheering on two of his Mavs tonight. I, it's hard. You know, I went over and talked to Mark Cuban. I never shook hands with a billionaire before. You need to get out more often. <laughs> oh, you hang out with billionaires. <laughs> You hang out with a lot of billionaires, huh? <laughs> you need to get out more often, so Carl. Gilbert Arenas put in 14. Trust me, he's got to hurry up. Jason he's Terry got to hurry up. 13. Hey, Richard, he's, he's not getting no shots. That money ball might be big. And here it goes. Worth two. Got it. I don't know if he got it, it off. That he didn't get it off. It did not count. Didn't count. He did not get it off. He did well, not get it see. off. Let's see. If they're gonna, they're gonna have to go. They're gonna have to go to the, the video. Point. Maybe he they did not get it off. Maybe they got them Super Bowl referees out there. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki had a last shot, which went in. It was the money ball worth two. But as we have seen in our replays, the ball is still in his hands as it goes off. Now, there is no season to go and is having another terrific season for Dallas. That team is playing well. He's one of the reasons why. They are playing fantastic. But you know what? They're like the Indianapolis coach. People are not going to believe they're good enough until they do it in the playoffs. It's kind of a different team in Dallas this year. A little bit more defense, a different feel with Avery Johnson. Yeah, but that's the exact thing they said about the coach this year. That's true. I mean, so until they prove it, people think I don't like the Mavericks. I do like the Mavericks. I love them. They don't like the Mavericks. That's true. I'm just saying they're going to have to prove it to me in the playoffs. Just like the coach are going to have to prove it. If he keeps shooting like this, he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. I told you, he was going to improve in this second round. He's warmed up. I like what Charles said back the first time Dirk made his lap around the outside here. He, to have that size, to be able to shoot like that is just an unbelievable it's amazing. combination. To deal with that guy of a seven-footer, a power forward and center, he's their worst nightmare. There have not been too many players like him in the history of the NBA, let alone right now. Oh. I don't think I don't think there's ever been a player like him. You know, Larry Bird was like a 6'9 shooter, but he didn't have Larry Bird. He's a lot more athletic than Larry Bird. Now, he's not as good as Larry Bird. I haven't been drinking that much to say that now. <laughs> not that much, not, huh? Well, I haven't been drinking. I don't want people home Larry to be home. Larry was a better rebounder. rebounder. Family show, better man. rebounder and a better passer. What? But I saw him in Germany before he got to the NBA. I was with you for that. I also told him, game. I said, i give you it, it, any amount of money. You know, we didn't really have much time to practice, but uh, just glad to be here, and it's all about having fun. I'm glad I won. All right, congratulations. Give it up, Houston. Our new three-point champion, Dirk Nowitzki. And he started seven of eight. He found his rhythm and did not let go. We're back in Houston a moment ago. Rick Mina, president and CEO of Foot Locker USA, presented the Foot Locker three-point shootout championship trophy to Dirk Nowitzki. In partnership with NBA Cares, the Foot Locker Foundation is pleased to donate $35,000 to Special Olympics. And our dot-com poll, what do you folks think in terms of who might win? You had Ray Allen up there, and Dirk finished third. 